My name's Helen Dix, I'm a catchment coordinator for the Environment Agency. I try and make the water bodies of the Ribble, the Douglas and the Alton Crossens catchments more healthy by coordinating action on the ground. We need to work closely with our partners and mobilise more funding and Natural Course will help us do both. At this site today we're right by Cowhay Brook which is a tributary of the River Ribble in the Ribble catchment. Um, we've got some volunteers here who are planting trees um, and the reason for planting trees is that they're just great for water in general. So some of these alders are quite big roots you might need to make quite a nice big hole for them. The more root the better really. So Natural Course has provided some of the funding for this project um, and it's helped secure funding from other locations, other sources. It helps us to achieve our wide goals of improving water. It feels good to, uh, to be kind of contributing to something that's making it a difference. This kind of activity is going on all over the Ribble catchment and all over the northwest. We did some water testing as part of uh, an early, the early stages of the project and found that there was high nutrient levels in the river. So we looked at what was happening in the golf course of putting a lot of fertiliser on and that's leaching down the hillside and into the river and during high rainfall it flashes through really fast and ends up in the river so you get high nutrient readings especially just after rainstorms which is when we surveyed. So what we decided to do is look at ways of trying to how we can actually prevent that nutrients from getting there, doing some way of slowing that down. We uh, put some leaky dams in to slow the water down and allow the vegetation to take up the nutrients. And we've put them in using volunteer labour, using local materials which has kept the cost right down. Used the, the logs from the oak, uh, willow stakes and the weaved branches in between uh, just to create the structure. So how will you know if the leaky dams have worked? Uh, well, what we're doing is linked to the natural course where we're setting up uh, three volunteer programmes at the moment. One's going to be here, one in Stockport, one in North Merseyside, where we're training volunteers to do citizen science. So they're going to do uh, water testing, so they'll monitor the water for any changes uh, in nitrates and phosphates and in uh, turbidity. My intention for today was to try them out on water bodies that are easy to get to. Uh, so we'll start off by using the pond, the stream and the fish pond and um, see what measurements we get from there and compare those. And then if we're happy with that, we can take it out onto the river. It's been quite a bit of enthusiasm amongst the volunteers. People have responded well, partly because I think they have got a, a long affinity with the river. Having everybody involved in the, the actual water testing gives us a, a chance to um, really get out there and, and get to know the rivers in some, some serious detail. It's really important to mobilise volunteers to go out and gather data from various locations, testing the water and doing kick samples. When you combine that with environment agency data and Natural England data, it can give us a really clear picture of why a watercourse might be not as healthy as we want it to be, and then what we can do about it to try and rectify that and, and increase its health and biodiversity. Natural Course is really helping us to achieve our long-term aim of improving water bodies across the northwest. natural course, our water, our future, is just a really important opportunity for us to build on the, the track record we have in the northwest of delivering fantastic and much improved environment. We're dealing with a, a legacy from the industrial revolution. We've had a series of fantastic partnership projects over the last 20 years or so and this is a real catalyst to move things even further forward for the next 10 years.